Hey guys, this is Pat at Naganti Motor Cars. Today's Saturday, February 10th. I want to walk you through our inventory. We're really excited to show you what we got behind closed doors here. And also to share with you, we just bought the property out back from the city. And we're able to hold another 20 to 30 cars comfortably with employee parking. Come on in. We just got this in. It's a 2016 Dodge Charger. And it's a scat pack. It's a 392 on it. 485 horsepower the thing rips i took it out the other day it's just such a cool car it's got a ton of power on it robert's going to be detailing this on monday so we just got that in sounds badass we have a, a 92 bmw this is an e30 it's got 54 000 miles on it it's uh, alpine white with uh, indigo blue interior. It's stunning. We took the seats out with no problem with detail. There's no rust on this car. And uh, we just fixed the turn signals on it and we put a new back window in it. Tim took his time. It took about two hours, but we had a big, large crease on it. So we put a brand new one in and that's all done. Here's our 1941 Plymouth truck, P125. It's been always a PA car here. It's amazing inside. I drove it in from Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. The heat in it works, three speed manual. We put a new battery in it, changed the fluids, pumped up the tires. We'll get the wood in the back. Probably show them the front of this car. It's got a Pennsylvania license plate on the front. Let me pop the hood so you guys can see inside. It's amazing. Give me the prop rod. Check out this guy. Carburetor's been rebuilt. It's got a fresh tune-up on it. I've had about 45, 50 miles an hour on the highway. It drives awesome. And it goes really well with our 1910 original floor. Really pops the black and white. Really proud to have this in here. We got a new sign recently, Federal Tires Tubes. Thank you to our friend Tony Duca. We were able to acquire that from him. I just recently hung up some of my Auto Trader and Kelly Blue Book photos. Thank you to my uh, awesome contractors, Robbie and Dave, and they built this shelf up there for some of my old awards. And Courtney was a huge help. And we keep updating the map here. We're shipping all over the United States. So we're adding pins every week for shipping cars. We just had some of this brick wall uh, plastered the other day and sand bead blasted and power wash. So this is the original wall from 1910. It really pops now. Did a nice job. So right now we Robert's D Town is 2019 Ford EcoSport. We just got it in. It only has 13,000 miles on it. One owner, clean car fast. Robert, how's this car? It's beautiful, it's like a brand new car. You're making it look awesome. Someone's gonna get a really good vehicle out of this one. Yes, they are. Four by four. We have a 1960 Austin Sprite Bug Eye. This is a really cool frame off restoration. We just ordered the price on this one at $44,996. Eighty-nine Mercedes Benz, clean Carfax, one hundred and thirty-four thousand miles on it. Hard tops in the back. We left the soft top up. It's in great condition. Air conditioning works in this vehicle. Recently serviced, local owned. We have a nineteen eighty-one Mercury Capri. It looks like a Ford Mustang, but this is a uh, Ford Capri. It's got a six-cylinder. Sounds like an eight-cylinder. Take a look at this brand new interior, brand new exhaust, brand new tires. It's a Subaru WRX pink color to it. That's what they had it match. Automatic. So you can take a look at our YouTube videos with the walk around. This is my personal Baja truck. This vehicle uh, belongs to me. It is for sale. I uh, just put a new clutch in it last week with Tim. Oil change, new seals, had the motor out, it's ready to go now. That thing is badass. 
Willie Nelson's Mercedes-Benz is still here. I don't know why. 1980. This has 143 on it also. Good Carfax on it. Willie Nelson bought this vehicle brand new back in 1980. The same year that he came out with uh, On the Road Again. Let me take a look at this. We've got some documentation. And I verified it with his assistance manager and up in Connecticut. And they sent us a box full of Willie Nelson shirts. There it is. And we found some matches underneath the car seat. Robert found them from California. They come with it. Willie Nelson's match boxes. This is really rare, 1981 Fiat 124 Spire, second one we have, but this one is also automatic. So both of them are automatic, which is really rare. Most of them are five speeds, so you don't see automatics too often. There's a 1963 MGB that was fully restored during COVID. Frame off, motors pulled, trans was pulled, British green, brand new interior that was done over by Ed at Proper Noise right here in Reading. He did a fantastic job with the seats. It's turnkey, guys. It's awesome. Look at the cluster on this. The gauges are in great shape. And it smells awesome inside. A lot of these don't smell as good as this one does. So we have this 1989 Rolls Royce Silver Spur. It has uh, 45,000 miles on it. We took a deposit on it this morning. It's going to Ohio. The car collector was looking for a black with a nice, deep, rich red interior this vehicle uh, is going to be driven back to Ohio later this week and look at what it comes with in the back seat some great Poupon the guy loved it this was used in 2012-2013 basketball hall of fame introductions so there was some um, basketball players sitting in the back seat of this car pretty cool uh, this Mercedes Benz we just got this in recently 560 SEL series. Nineteen eighty-nine with sixty-two thousand miles on it. Take a look at this deep blue interior. Really cool neat combo. The back seat on this reclines and they're heated also. So I've never seen one where the back seats recline off of a power button here but they'll recline for you and they're heated there's your heated button right here in the center Come over here. 1998 Mustang Cobra uh, vehicles turnkey with brand new inspection oil change the AC was just charged it's only got 55,000 miles on it clean Carfax uh, we know the history of this uh, vehicle uh, Tim who's here with us today this was his brother's vehicle we sold it last year to a customer he hurt his ankle and wasn't able to drive the vehicle anymore and got an automatic uh, Mustang. So we got acquired this back and it's here on this thing is impeccable. Take a look at this. All factory, everything's factory inside this vehicle. And then Tim just finished this at 1978 Honda CB 550. One owner, we got it from the original owner. We did it as a package deal, bought another motorcycle and a Fiat Spider from him that's at the body shop right now, coming back in a few weeks. This uh, needed a carb uh, tune up and cleaned out. Uh, gas tank was cleaned out by Robert. He detailed the vehicle, I mean the motorcycle, and then got it all running. This is ready to go. And it only has, Robbie show him, 5,000 miles on it. I have a clean Pennsylvania title in our dealership's name. It's ready to go. Next vehicle, we have a 1973 Carmen Ghia. Uh, Tim's been working on it. It's been a little bit of a project, but uh, it's only got 23,000 original miles on it. Hey, Tim, why don't you tell us what you've been doing to it? So at an oil leak, we just uh, resealed the oil cooler. So uh, it's completely leak free now. And uh, we just got a couple things to tidy up in the undercarriage and run through uh, all the light bulbs and signals to make sure everything works. This is an auto stick. So there is no clutch pedal, but you shift it manually. Vehicle's really fun. Me and Tim took it out last week for a nice ride on it. 
and uh, Tim replaced the uh, carburetor in it. We ran through a couple of different things on it and the vehicle is going to be drip free. It's going to be a driver ready to enjoy this summer. Uh, just a few things we're tidying up on it, but again, it's a 1973 Carbon Gear with only 23,000 miles on it. It seems tidying up the engine compartment here. It really turned out nice. Here's the new carburetor in there, all new oil seals, brand new battery in it. This is going to be a fun vehicle for someone. Most likely we'll be shipping this out of state. Uh, we just got this in on Saturday. It's a 1990 500 SL. Mercedes-Benz with the hard top and it only has 76,000 miles on it. Really low miles. A lot of these have well over 100, 200,000 miles on it. This one has 76,000 miles on it. It will need a new paint job for the next owner, but mechanically sound, it's all there. Uh, fresh battery in it, but the vehicle is really, really nice overall. Uh, right here we have a 65 Mustang that Tim did all new frame rails on the back, new leaf springs, new brake lines, new uh, shocks on the back. This one is really neat because it was ordered from the factory with air conditioning. It's a three-speed manual, 289. Take a look at this. Brand new battery, new fluids, brand new AC compressor. The interior on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. We had the original paperwork from when it was bought from the dealership. And we have the uh, owner's manual, a couple of sets of keys with it. It's a turquoise blue, it really pops. And then why don't you follow me, we'll come outside and I'll show you what I have available outside. So we have this uh, beautiful 1968 Dodge Dart GT convertible. It was a six cylinder, slant six. It was converted to a 383 Magnum. Take a look at this. This car was completely restored. Beautiful white interior, black top. The bottom frame, everything completely restored in this car. It's turnkey, it's got a glass back window. This thing is really, really nice. Had it in a local parade here in town. I uh, just got this vehicle in 87 Cadillac Galante. You don't see these too often. Clean Carfax, 113,000 miles on it. Tim just finished up, uh, the fuel injection was leaking. We changed uh, the two front struts. We did an oil change to it and tightened up a few other things. This vehicle is ready to go. Next project we're working on right here is a uh, 1965 Corvette framewalk restoration convertible. Nice thing about this car is, and the Willy Wonka Golden Ticket is, it's a 396 big block. This vehicle uh, was up in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. It was in an accident back in 1983, and they haven't driven it since. I have a clean PA title for it. I have the 396 big block. The body right now uh, of the vehicle is down in uh, Horsham with Don Lemmick, our Corvette specialist. And he's gonna be putting it back on after we have the frame uh, powder coated. I have a 67 Mini Cooper, which uh, is gonna be my vehicle. Uh, that's gonna be uh, a British green. We just got the wheels powder coated and that's gonna be an advertisement piece for us. This vehicle is for sale in 87 Porsche 944 with 130,000 miles on it. It's got a really nice blue interior on the vehicle. We're gonna be finishing that up this week, putting a new windshield in it. I had the wheels uh, powder coated by AJ down at Fiber and Finish. And it's got brand new tires on it. He did a really nice job. If you need a good powder coater, AJ down at Fiber and Finish in uh, Pendel PA, he's great. So this is what we're really excited to show you guys. We just acquired this land from the city, the Reading Housing Authority, and uh, this opens up our inventory to more everyday cars and employee parking. Come take a look. So I have a 2012 Honda Civic. This is a great car for a first driver or just a commuter car. Uh, brand new inspection, two new tires, two new struts. Rear brakes were just done to it. It's only got 98,000 miles on it for $12,000. Good car.
This is really cool. This is a Batmobile 2017 Audi A6. This vehicle uh, has uh, 104,000 miles on it. One owner, supercharged, beautiful car. Robbie, show them the interior. All wheel drive, loaded. And it's really, really nice. Heated rear seats. We have a uh, 2014 Subaru Forester, uh, brand new tires on it. It's 98,000 miles on it. One owner, fully, fully loaded. Leather, heated seats, sunroof, all wheel drive. Really safe vehicle. That one's uh, ready to go. We got a 2020 Chevy Equinox. It's got 50,000 miles on it. Super clean, two owner car, all wheel drive, brand new inspection, brand new tires on it, new oil change. This vehicle's turnkey, ready to go. Just got this in last week, 2015 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum, fully, fully loaded, just turned 100,000 miles on it. It's got 100,243 miles on it. It's got a clean Carfax on it, fully, fully loaded. It's got navigation, it's got rear DVD, it's got heated front seats, cooled seats, it's got rear heated seats. This vehicle is really, really nice. I drove this home, love that vehicle. This is a unicorn, a 2019 Ford EcoSport. It's only got 13,000 miles on it. It's a brand new car. And it's got uh, clean Carfax on it, one owner. It's a four by four. It's got a moonroof, and it's got the silver alloy wheels, which was an option for 2019. Cloth interior. But where are you gonna find a 2019 Ford EcoSport with only 13,000 miles on it? Just got this back from the body shop, a 79 Ford Ranchero, one owner, 79,000 miles on it. Um, it's a 302 V8, it's a GT500. We had the decals taken off to have it painted blue again. I have the decals uh, downstairs, we're going to be putting them on next week. And then we're going to do a full tune-up, new spark plugs, wires, uh, oil change, all new belts and hoses are going to be done on this. But this is a really cool Ranchero GT500. They only made a few thousand of them. Robbie, let's show them our monster truck. We got employee parking here. We're able to put some more vehicles here next week when we get them in. This is a 2011 Ram 2500. Cummings Diesel. We just got this in last week. It's got 163,000 miles on it. Good Carfax, 6.7 liter V6. Robbie just made a YouTube video of it today. It's really cool. It's got touch screen, four inch lift, 35 inch tires on it. It's got the bed rug in the back. This thing is badass. Sounds awesome. It's turnkey. It was owned by a mechanic down in Philadelphia. It worked at a Dodge Ram dealer. It's ready to go. Come on inside with me. I want to show you one vehicle that just came in a few minutes ago. It was just dropped off on consignment. Love to show you this vehicle. Come on inside. Check out this 1965 Mercury Comet. It's only got 86,000 original miles on it. We just acquired this vehicle on consignment. It's got four new tires on it. It was sold by Tom Asano Mercury back in 1965. There's documentation right here on the back, the branding. Back in the day, these were stickers. They would rivet them in. Two holes, drill holes, and smack them on. This vehicle is like a time capsule. It's got the uh, light gray exterior and it's got the dark red vinyl cloth and it's got rubber mats. It's got a delete for the radio, so no radio for this car in 1965 was an option. But inside here, Robbie, show, show them here. Here's more brand from the dealership. If you were ever to break down, you called Tom Masano Mercury there. You got the original owner's manual. We got four sets of keys for the vehicle. 
It's got a 200 straight six. Robert's going to be detailing this car tomorrow. Uh, brand new oil change. Uh, transmission was flush with a new filter. It's got brand new front brake lines, new front left caliber on it, fresh tires on it. This vehicle we're going to list for sale for uh, $13.5. But we're really excited to get this one in. This is a local timepiece that's been in the area. Two owners on the vehicle. So check this one out on our website. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be updating our inventory every week. We got a couple of fresh cars coming this week and this Saturday they're going to be delivered. We got the Rolls Royce that's going to be going to Ohio this week. The 1992 BMW we took a deposit on. Uh, you saw in the showroom, that's going to be going to Miami, Florida. We're going to be shipping that on Saturday. We have a few customers coming in this week to look at our vehicles and hopefully going home with their new ride. Thank you so much for watching.